So Tommy, another bit of action this weekend on the road to Fylde and it's going to be another challenge, isn't it? Yeah, every game in this division is a, is a different puzzle, different challenge. Um, obviously we've had them looked at and I'm sure they've had us looked at. Uh, one thing's for sure, both know how to score goals. I think if uh, Adam was on the camera, a bit like me, we're looking for a, a way to stop the balls going in our own net and um, it should be a really exciting game. Obviously, it's a side that got promoted this season. They're going to try and carry on, you know, the positivity of that last campaign. And, and a side as well that you, you will be familiar with, having been at Kings Lynn and played them, obviously, twice last season. Yeah, we went toe-to-toe -to -toe near enough the whole season. Um, and Adam got his side over the line and the merit goes to them. Um, it's like anything, when you go up a division, you, 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 it's a double-edged sword. You, you're on the back of being really successful for the previous season, but then the level of the opposition becomes a lot different. So what you had your own way most of the most of the time in the, the level below, it's not going to always happen at this level. So I'm sure they're finding their feet and they're learning very, very quickly, but he's got a really good team there, a good nucleus of players that he brought up and he's added, added well. Um, so yeah, we expect a really tough challenge. Like you said, it's a long trip, but um, we're going up after training on Friday, um, so we'll be well rested when we're up there, and hopefully the heat will just mm. dissipate a little bit because it's been a really warm day down in uh, down at Gordon's all week. But it's been a really good week's training. Um, it's been lively. We've had a good look at some of the youngsters as well um, in house, so it's it's been a really uh, a good week. And well, two of the na two of the people that might have been missing are Stuart O'Keefe and Hadi Gandor. Can you give us a bit of an update on their situations? Yeah, in fairness, I mean the, the club have really again being impeccable in the way they treated the two lads and as I speak or as you hear this they'll have either gone under the knife or they'll be going under the knife imminently um, so you know I really thank people upstairs for, for looking after the players in, in the, the best way possible they're getting looked at by the best um, medical people and they're being operated on by the best surgeons possible in London so touch wood both uh, Harry and Stuart will be getting closer as the next time each time you speak to me they'll be a little bit closer to coming back to being available and of course along with Christian the, the, the three lads that were, I did envisage playing playing quite a big part for us. But going back to the football obviously Saturday was, it was a bit of a heartbreaking result in the end but it, it did show didn't it, didn't it that we are a good side and we, we can go toe to toe with the best that this division has to offer. Yeah I mean I think the staff spoke before and after the game about it being a real barometer for us I mean I don't want to put any undue pressure or anything on Chesterfield but they're expected to be right up there we had a good chat with Paul before and after the game in the manager's office and um, he was really accepting last season of being he knew he was the best of the rest the top two teams were the top two teams and they rightly in my opinion went up into the EFL there's a little bit more pressure because he was the best of the rest but there were, there were two teams come down so listen they'll be there or thereabouts no, no doubt about that um, and the fact that we managed to score three goals against them is really encouraging the fact that they scored one more than us is obviously the disappointment, but you haven't got to let the result mask the fact that how far we've come in that very short period of time. I mean, we looked at September, uh, sorry, we looked at August as a month in its entirety, and we look at the performances, and, and the vast majority of what I saw was really, really encouraging from my point of view. Um, I'm not harping on here, but we have lost very, very important people at very important stages, not just of the month, but of the games that we lost them. And so these are all things we've got to learn as a group, um, we're still getting to learn about each other as characters, some, some of the lads, you know, so in adding Jack in, there's a, another sort of new face in the crowd. But it's a really good place to be, the training ground. Um, like I said, the work's gone well. Uh, the information that we give doesn't change, our delivery doesn't change. Um, we just want some more consistency. Not so much in the way we go forward, we're doing that very, very well, but we just want more solidity as a group, uh, as a defensive unit. I'm sure that'll come as the, as the games go on. Uh, we mentioned obviously Stuart's going to be missing, that's one of those big names that is missing and obviously Theo's got a suspension now so mm. you know is this a good opportunity for someone like Ethan Burnett or Henry Ochieng perhaps to, to cement a, a place in that starting lineup and, and get, get a time to shine? Possibly, I mean people who know their names and know that they play in their positions also don't know how they've performed in training for the previous six or seven weeks so opportunities given to every single player at this football club or has been since I walked through the door um, and one or two have taken and one or two haven't. Now, it's my, my job as a manager to pick the team on a Saturday, but there's a lot of discussion goes on Monday to Friday and, and Sunday about what's coming up, what's happened. And we're all singing off the same page, to be honest with you. So whoever takes the, the jersey because of the absences of, of the guys that you're talking about need to take the opportunity quickly. They'll argue that they haven't had much game time. 
I'll argue that's football. You know, you've got to, the door shuts on one person's face, it opens on somebody else's. They've got to stick their, their toe in it and then push the door open and stay in it. But I've, I've got no qualms with any of these lads. They're all working very, very hard every day. And like I said, the conditions that everybody realises are a little bit um, non-seasonal at the minute, but, but I'm not complaining because I'm not worrying about it so much. But it's been a, it's been a hard slog, you know, in, in the heat. Um, but hopefully we'll be back, be back to normal fairly soon and uh, we can get up, go onwards and upwards together. Thank <laughs> you.